Hi, this is Jay with TDR Tuning, and tonight we'd like to show you what a properly tuned car should behave like when you step on the gas and when you're generating boost and increasing your loads. It's important that the car doesn't do a few things. Number one, it's important that that car does not go into open loop prematurely. If you open loop too soon and your AFRs drop before you have any boost, the car is going to feel like you just lost all the air, like you lost all power. You want that transition to be done gradually, to be done slowly. But anyway, this is what it should look like. What we're going to do is we're going to go through a series of accelerations where we go from full vacuum to about 12 to 10 pounds of boost and of course things happen very quickly when we do this so that's the reason we have slowed down our video to slow motion in order to be able to share with you what those parameters look like and how they should change and of course we're monitoring top left our air fuel ratio bottom left is our absolute load top right is our ignition timing advance very important and bottom right that double zero is our knock return we have our boost gauge reading about 8 pounds of boost right now, our tachometer and our speedometer. And we'll try to stay within 5 miles of the posted speed limit. Uh, here at TDR, we always encourage everyone to drive carefully and to observe all traffic regulations. Now, as we were saying, what you do not want to see when you step on the gas at cruising speed is your AFRs drop down into the 11s. If they're dropping down into the 11s, in reality, you're probably much richer than that. As you know, our white band pegs down at 11. So that's really not good. That will make the car feel laggy. And it just feels like all the wind gets taken off your sails. And certainly doesn't aid with the quick spooling of the turbo. And then as the turbo spills up, then what you have is a sudden rush of power. And that truly makes the car feel jerky. The proper way, the way you want you, in which you want your car to transition, is you actually want to hold a few pounds of boost while remaining in close look, like we're doing right now. We have about six pounds of boost, 14.5 at 67% load, still in close loop, 16 points of timing. There we just opened 13, 76% of absolute load, and then we just lift it. So as we were saying, not only do you want to be able to hold on to a few pounds of boost while in closed loop, but once open loop takes place, you would want your AFR to have a gradual decrease from 14.7 down to the high 13s, mid 13s, low 13s, mid 12s, down to whatever you want your AFR to be for wide open throttle. If you are able to do this, your car will feel absolutely powerful you will have no lag whatsoever and the amount of torque that you will develop from this engine is completely unbelievable. So not easily done but certainly the way that the car should be tuned for this specific circumstance when you're driving at cruising speed on the highway and you press on the gas and you are slowly building up boost. Now certainly if you're stepping on the accelerator more suddenly and then you're going to open loop a lot sooner than that but still the AFR should drop in a gradual way. We're going to show you one more transition as to what, is, what that's supposed to look like but this time we also want you to pay attention to the timing. Timing is very very important. You want your timing to drop in a gradual way. We've seen cars in the single digits and that truly robs you of power. There we are, zero vacuum, a little tip in enrichment. We're still in closed loop at 55% load. AFRs at 14.2, timings 23.5, very nice numbers. We're approaching five, six pounds of boost and we're remaining closed loop at 70% load with 17.5 points of timing. There, we just opened loop 13.9 at 77% load. AFRs remain in the low 13s, 14 points of timing. Now we have 10 pounds of boost. AFRs are 12.9, 12.8. 
11.5 points of timing that is beautiful and then down into the 11s when we lift up the accelerator that is what a proper transition is supposed to look like and I can tell you that the difference between your car going into open loop and being tuned this way and your car opening loop prematurely and having your AFRs drop into the 11s it would be like riding on a Vespa and then getting on and riding on a sports bike the difference is absolutely unbelievable and the amount of torque that you develop is completely extraordinary for this 2 liter engine so we encourage you if you're doing your own tuning uh, work on it if you have any questions give us a call we're happy to help you in any way we can thanks for watching